Y'all, I gotta say, before we get into this, being androgynous is probably like one of the most interesting experiences I've ever had in my life because within an hour's time, within an hour's time, I got confused for lucky day, mask off. I got called pretty by a stranger barista, mask on. I got confused for another random black person, mask on. And then I got called pretty again by a random white man, mask on. Stories. My name is Jade Box. This is the Major Looks channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's 2022 officially. Honestly, I feel like I'm feeling really good this year. Um, your girl went viral first day of 2021. That's all I'm saying. So follow me on TikTok. But I have, I'm feeling all the good vibes of 2022. I think it has something to do with them angel numbers. I don't know. But um, I'm going to be talking about all of the best buys of 2021 these are the things this is the quality pipes and i'm going to be showing you all these things as well but these are all the things that i bought in 2021 that were perfect when i say perfect i mean it's very cute uh it is comfortable it fits me well and i actually wear it that is a perfect item that is what qualifies a best buy of 2021 and i have a lot like a lot a lot a lot so let's go ahead and get into it now this is new um but the reason why i made this list is because i have been looking for a simple wrap blazer like this for so long i just couldn't find one with like an agreeable price point um and so oddly enough i found this at h m and h m has decent blazers i have um i think one other blazer from them that i've had for literally years like i want to say i've had it for like six years five years and so I already like the blazers and it just is a simple single button wrap feature. This is one of those items that I think is like one of the true unisex pieces that exist on the planet, which is a blazer, but more specifically like a wrap blazer because I think the wrap feature kind of like adds a little feminine touch. But um, on someone who, is, who presents more masculine, it's less of a feminine touch and just more of like a nice tailoring touch. It's like a nice kind of sleek element. And so that's absolutely why this makes list. I will not be spending too much time on these pants because y'all have y'all have seen me wear these pants to the death. Uh, and that is these wax denim diesel cargo pants. I love these pants. They're insanely comfortable. Somehow they stretch. They are a few months old and you cannot tell at all. The quality is amazing. They're nice and heavy. They just feel substantial when I'm wearing them. They feel like if I was ever at the club and a zombie apocalypse is harder to like break out. You know what I mean? I feel like I'll be ready because, hello, I got a little loop here, okay? Put some, put some, um, some brass knuckles, boop boop, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, on top of the fact that you can also make it more skinny in the right on the ankle or you could like leave it open and have more of a straight leg. I love that feature because it really does open up the possibilities for the amount of shoes that I can wear. When I'm wearing a boot that's got that's a little slimmer on the ankle, then I will close this up. But if I have on like a nice little fat sneaker or something, then I'll probably open it up for the straight leg because I think it's a little bit more flattering. And um, Diesel is just one of those brands this year. Let me get my hanger. Diesel was just one of those brands this year that just took my money. <laughs> Diesel and Calvin Klein, which I will show you next. This alpaca sweater will never know peace. I talk about, I wear a lot of sweaters, I wear a lot of knitwear, and something that is as simple as like a crew neck sweater, it has to be perfect. My definition of a perfect sweater is one that fits well, one that falls well, that's comfortable and actually keeps you warm. And this does all of these things. It's really nice and thick. I will say though, once, once you start, um, I feel like this year I definitely started buying more high quality pieces. And one thing I've noticed, see when something is made from a high quality wool blend, Wool is made for cold weather. Wool is perfect for battling the high cold winds because when I tell you, it doesn't look like it, but nothing gets through this sweater. I, a dumbass, made the mistake of going to the mall to do some last minute Christmas shopping. Um, I was in Virginia, so I was like, oh, it's gonna be cold, you know, let me layer up. So I foolishly wore this sweater underneath a like shirling lined leather jacket. And when I tell you I was sweating, 
I was sweating. That means you're sweating from your tits. I was sweating, like running down my body. Like not just beating up on the forehead. Like I'm sweating full streams underneath my clothes right now because I'm that warm and all I had on was this and that jacket and that jacket was from Zara so that wasn't even like a, you know, like it was a, it was a jacket, it was a coat to keep you warm but I'm not gonna sit here and act like it was the warmest thing in the world but the, I had that on and then this, done. So apparently when you just buy nicer shit you don't have to like layer up as much because the materials are there. Next up is a pair of cargo pants that I picked up from the brand Ronning. And it is just a pair of plain black cargo pants. These are size 30. So if you decide to get a pair, I'm, I float between a six and an eight waist. More so, I'm a tight six and a loose eight, okay? Just to give you some context. And normally I go for like a men's 31 because 32 ends up usually being too big. 30 ends up being a little too snug. And so with these, I took a gamble, but it's, I got a size 30 and it fits perfectly. I love that the pockets just aren't as basic as a regular pair of cargo pants where you just kind of have the pockets on the sides. If you look um, on the left leg, there's actually a little cell phone pocket here. And then uh, there's another one right on the back right there. I hope that y'all can see this. And then of course, you know, we have a bigger pocket on the front on this side and another one lower on the leg on the right side. And so I really like these pants. They're kind of like a staple. Like I just been wanting a pair of like throw on cargo pants. Um, and I think that these really do itch the scratch and they're really comfortable as well. They're not that kind of um, sporty fabric. I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely more of like a cottony, almost like a denim-y kind of feeling to them. And so they're soft. So I highly suggest these uh, on top of the fact that they're very well made. Too, so. It's this white shirt that has seen better days. It has seen better days. I'm aware, but that just is a testament to how much I wore this during the summer. I really bought most of this stuff during the spring and summer of this year. Uh, and I think that's because I feel like during the summertime and when the hotter months roll around you actually see how much of your closet is not at all ready for hot weather and so i saw this you know y'all already know i love a button down i love a structured body moment and so this is from and other stories and it's essentially just a short sleeve button down but it's got an oversized fit obviously in the torso uh the collar is a little bit more pointed and then the sleeves are a little bit bigger as well and so I think it just gives it you know a nice little stylized feature makes it look a little less boring makes it makes it look a little less geek squad because I think that a button down short sleeve shirt can definitely give like IT manager you know and so that's what I didn't want to give and so I'm very happy with this piece I don't love the way it washes something about like when you buy a button maybe I, and maybe I was supposed to dry clean this that could have been my fault you know, let's just double check. Let's just confirm. I don't know. Machine wash more. No, yeah. So sometimes like when you buy button downs, like especially ones that are kind of like this cotton material, um, I feel like they can just make your shirt look dingy after a wash or two. And so this is low-key giving me that. I'm not gonna lie, it's giving me that a little bit, but I'm gonna hold on to her. We're gonna keep it going. Um, I'm gonna steam her and then she'll see better days. But this is absolutely one of the best buys that I've had because I know this is something that I'm going to be wearing uh, hot season after hot season um, just because it's a button down, which I already love, and it's white, and I love wearing white. I look really good in white. Let's keep the summer vibes going. Um, this is a piece that I picked up from Anderson Bell. I want to say I got this off of Bar Fetch, which by the way, one year of this channel, I started it in October of 2020, yes. And you know, within that year, we got a far fetch deal. One year in, so boom, shout outs to us. Not from that deal, but I did get this from Farfetch months before they even reached out to me. And I picked up this piece from Anderson Bell and it is essentially this mesh, groovy little short sleeve button down. My girlfriend, when we went to Hawaii, she wanted to wear this as like a cover up because as you can see, it is pretty see-through. 
but it's kind of like the perfect amount of see-through where you don't feel like your titties are on show. It's like a respectable amount of see-through. And the amazing part about this shirt is that when you are wearing it, all you feel is the air just going through all of these holes and it feels so good. I love it when clothes feel good to wear. I feel like it's so regular for us to put something on and then you just go and you don't really think too much about it. Um, but I love clothes that when you wear them, you can just feel the opulence. You can feel the luxury. You can just feel how much better it is that you wore this shirt over like another shirt. And the breathability of this shirt alone will always make me pick it up over another shirt. On top of the fact that it's just really fucking cool. It's got these green and navy and cream um, kind of colorway all over it too. It's perfect. It's just perfect. It's perfect. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Name a vibe this doesn't go with. Boat shit vibe. Birthday vibes vibes. Uh, going out at nighttime vibes. Daytime vibes. Beach vibes. Like it's just what uh, what other kind of vibes do you want? The shirt has it. This is a piece that's a little bit newer, and I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because. The fact of the matter is, the last time I wore this sweatshirt, I just so happened to make a bunch of pieces of content that day. And so there's just like four to five pieces of content ranging from like TikToks to Instagram to um, YouTube videos where I'm wearing this sweater just because I just filmed a lot that day. And so I'm almost positive, I'm not gonna claim it, but I saw um, the girl who, the person who makes these, by the way, everything's gonna be linked in the description if it is still available. Um, but the girl, but the person who makes these, um, she post, or they posted something on Instagram saying like, there's been a huge influx of these orders for this sweater. And so I'm happy that this designer is getting business. I'm happy that this designer is getting bags thrown at them uh, from people making purchases. So I wanna celebrate that person. Congrats to you. You made a really great piece. Uh, whether or not I had anything to do with it, I don't care because I love this sweater. It fits perfectly. It's so comfortable. I went with the small medium over the large extra large, mainly because I didn't really want it to be huge. And I think that's kind of like where I'm at with fashion, at least my own style right now. Yes, I love an oversized moment. I love something that is loose. Oh, please don't touch my body at all. Like I love when clothes are just loose in that way. And I think that this is definitely that, but I'm definitely leaning more into just things that aren't so big on me. Um, and so that's why I went with this small medium. It's got this beautiful print all over it. Uh, I have no fucking clue how this person makes these, but they do an amazing job. And it looks just as good in person. It looks just as good in person. And I promise you, no matter where you are, you wear this sweater or any sweater from this designer, you will get complimented all day long. White people get a kick out of this sweater. When I uh, came across this shirt, I actually bought this in black too. Uh, I almost wish I had a nine to five just so I could have somewhere to wear it uh, more. But for now, this is more of my going out shirt actually. Like I feel like on the, hang on the hanger, it looks kind of businessy. I wore this shirt in black uh, for Christmas Eve dinner. Uh, just like a blue, with, just with like a black t-shirt underneath. Just like a sleek little number. It looks really nice. I like how it fits my body. Um, I got this in a large and it is from Gap. And it's just one of those like basics that's perfect. Y'all already know I love a button down. And so when I found this, especially with it coming in this kind of like cotton material where it's really breezy and it moves and it's not so uh, starchy or non-stretchy like a regular button down. Um, it just gives me all the aesthetics that I want just with added comfort of the material. And so if this is available at Gap, I highly, highly suggest that you buy it um, and also size up if you want a little bit of, uh, honestly, I wouldn't even say room because I don't even have much, much more room in this. I just feel like it fits a little more drapey, a little more loose uh, than if I were to go with my true medium size. So absolutely cop this. I feel like I don't need to spend much time on this one. This cardigan from the brand Awake New York is one of my favorite things. I'm in distress. Um, it's one of my favorite things that exist, period. Uh, right next to like Barack Obama and um, like grocery store rotisserie chickens. And then after that comes this cardigan. 
this is another one of those things where if I'm wearing this, I, I cannot wear this if I don't want to be looked at. I can't wear this if I don't want people to talk to me because this is a conversation starter. Um, it is this hot pink ombre cardigan um, with like a more of like a berry kind of pink on the trim. It's just great. I love pink. It is a little itchy for some, but for the strong, it's fine. So I wear it, no problems. I got it in a medium. It's very comfortable. I throw a t-shirt on underneath and then I go. I pretty much don't wear a jacket on top of it because I don't need it. Uh, I will say that the inside is also lined, so it's not the same kind of wool that you get on the outside. On the inside, on the inside, it is softer. I've been wanting to get more into cardigans, but I just knew that if I was gonna do it, it had to be in my way because the library girl cardigans don't do it for me. The frigid bitch cardigans don't really do it for me. This is my Elle Woods cardigan, and I will love her for as long as she allows me to love her. <sighs> Moving on. Also, a summertime piece. Uh, this short sleeve button down from Daily Paper. I actually got this shirt altered a bit. I took off quite a few inches from the bottom. I wanna say I cut off three and a half inches of extra fabric that was on the bottom. I just wanted it to have more of like a cropped kind of boxy shape. Yeah, so I went to those like Prada short sleeve button downs that were really popping in the summertime of 2021. I just wanted more of that type of shape in this print because as much as I love this print, I felt like with the original shape, it was too much. I wanted it to feel a little bit more unique. I wanted it to feel a little bit more me. And so by cropping it, therefore emphasizing how boxy it is, um, I feel it does just that. And on top of the fact that it's from a black designer and it's actually got this little tag on the back. And I love the overall color scheme. I love this shirt so much. And I'm gonna wear the fuck out of it as soon as it starts to get a little warmer again. Now I'm going to show you some shoes and some accessories. I'm going to do the sunglasses all together though because wow. 2021 I feel like I truly discovered what my shape is when it comes to sunglasses and so these were the first ones I got during summertime and they are these retro super future glasses. I think the model name is Fred like the Fred lenses. I could be wrong about that. Or Teddy. It's either Freddy or Ted. Uh, lenses and they've got like that nice yellow tint in them. These are my groovy, I'm just here to look cool, eat some bruschetta and leave type of sunglasses. These do actually block out the sun. Um, obviously something that's black like this would be better for that, but you know, they do what I need them to do. They are a plain pair of black sunglasses, but that tinted lens, I feel it just adds a nice like pop element. I feel like it adds a nice, kind of, um, I don't know, just like interesting feature and makes them look almost kind of vintage-y. Like obviously they're not because of the, the shape of them, but it makes them just look a little more cooler than they could or than they would if they were just black lenses. So I got those and those are like a nice kind of like oversized square. But I realized this year that a rounded rectangle, I feel suits my face the best. I don't have the best luck with sunglasses because I feel like the sunglasses look like they're wearing me more so than me wearing the sunglasses. And so I really tried to find the right shape for my face and my head uh, in 2021. And I feel like with these Prada glasses that I got for my birthday in August, I realized I was like, oh, I think that I'm, there's a mirror behind the camera, so just let me do me for a second. I think that these are perfect for my face and my face shape. And so I kept that going with <laughs> these. The brand is Le Specs, and these are much, much cheaper than both of those combined. And in my opinion, look, a little bit cooler. These were like 60 bucks. These are also look really cool when I'm wearing a hat. Just gives me Balenciaga vibes. It gives me Matrix vibes. Um, and I really like these. These are definitely like push through to the front of the line type of sunglasses. This is the next Best Buy of 2021, which is more specifically this green Telfar bag. Um, I love Telfar bags in general. I have one in black. My girlfriend has one in brown, like big, the big large one. And then I have a smaller, the small, small one in yellow. Um, and so I think that they are just perfect bags, especially for someone like me who 
works for themselves and randomly just finds themselves working. It's like I'll go to a Panera Bread and then two minutes later I'm out on my laptop fully knee deep into my Gmail. Like how did this even happen? And so I like bags like this that are perfect for when I'm like running errands, going shopping, whatever. And I just need to throw some extra little bits in there. But it's also great for those days where I'm like, I don't really know what today's gonna be. So let me just make sure that I'm prepared for it. Let me just go ahead and bring my laptop. Let me go ahead and bring my little notebooks and pens and stuff like that just in case. That way I'm prepared. This bag is the one that gets chose every single time. It's a perfect size, it's the perfect weight, it's the perfect shape, it's the perfect color. I get a lot of compliments on this bag um, because of the color and I love that they decided to go with a navy on the inside instead of black. I think it just makes it look more expensive than if they were to just do plain black on the inside. Like, ugh, I love this bag. I truly, truly, truly love this bag. Um, and that goes for my black one as well. All right, y'all. Let's end this thing on some shoes. These boots are tired of me. And these are my Anne de Mulemeester square toe boots. They smell so good. I love these damn boots. These are probably the first like true quality boot purchase that I think I made in 2021. And just get into it. Get into the material. I also wear, I wear these for Christmas Eve. These are perfect for my little like Jamie Fox, <laughs> little going out 90s looks. Um, these are also perfect for bar moves. They're perfect, honestly anything, just like a plain black boot like this. It just applies for a lot of different outfits and it works for a lot of different occasions too. And so I think the fact that they are then supported by being um, just a very high quality shoe works because it's like, it's something that I'm gonna be wearing and that I have been wearing over and over again to almost every event or occasion or holiday or whatever. And then I just love the fact that they're actually great quality so they can actually stand the test of time and look good while I'm wearing them for years to come. This is a new purchase for me. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I talked about these recently. Um, but these are my Rick Owens High Chops. Um, I finally got them this year. These were my birthday gift to myself and I love these shoes. I am a high top sneaker girl and I think I will be for the rest of my life. And these just do everything I love. And a high top shoe. And a high top shoe. Um, they look good with crop pants. They look good with skinny jeans. They look good with straight leg jeans. They look good with dress pants. Like they look good with workwear. They look good with carpenter pants, cargo pants. Any type of pant these look good with. Uh, my girlfriend, her foot is a little bit smaller than mine, but I was thinking that she, this would also be cute with like a dress if she were to do that. And so I just love these shoes. They're exactly what I thought they were going to be. And I got a really, really great deal on them too. And so they absolutely had to make the list because it was one of those things. A lot of these things on this list are just things that I have been wanting for a long time. And I just so happened to not finally get them this year or last year. And so that's why they made the list. And this is absolutely one of those things. So these two at the same time, just because I'm running out of footage on my, my car. Sakai's here. Are these the Sakai's? I don't even remember these anymore. But these Sakai's, I think that's what they are. And then these Brain Dead collab with Converse sneakers. I have never even noticed the back of these until just now. Like, that's cool. Once again, I'm not saying that, you know, something that you get a lot of compliments on has to be a best buy of, of the year, but it just so happens it just so happens that I get a crazy amount of compliments on both of these things. And I think it's less of like the item itself, like from some people that compliment, maybe sure they just want these. But I think it's also just like when someone, when you look good and comfortable in what you're wearing, it sells it. And so whenever I wear these, most of the time I'm wearing them with the L Woods cardigan, just commit into a full pink moment and I throw these on. It's a look every single time. These have kind of taken place sort of of my Converse JW Anderson sneakers because they give me the height that I want and then it's also just like a kind of a black and white high top. Can't really go wrong with a black and white high top. <laughs> it's like why I wear these when I don't want to break out the Ricks just yet. You know what I mean? Maybe it's raining a little bit. I mean, it does have some a bit of mud on there. Uh, so that's when I throw these on. It just creates a nice like boyish kind of like element to whatever I got going on. Cause I'll have like a big old top coat, a t-shirt, some jeans, and I throw these on and then it just makes me look more like casual every day. Um, but chic and young too. And 
the last item on this list was one that I picked up in June in LA and it is this New York Yankees trucker hat. Y'all have seen me wear this hat to the death. 2020, I discovered that the types of hats that will actually fit over my head are trucker hats because the net in the back basically allows for the shape of my hair to to exist without it being like mashed down. Usually hats that are structured all the way around uh, either just kind of sit at the very, very top of my head, but they don't actually like fit fully. I can't explain it, girl. I just know that trucker hats are the hats that work best for my hair. Um, and so when I found this, I found this in an Urban Outfitters. I was having a hair emergency. I just needed something to cover it. And so that's when I picked up uh, this guy and it is in this really beautiful, rich navy color. It's got this little patch on the side, which I don't mind, but I guess, you know, I would like for it to be taken off, but I guess it's fine. Um, and then of course, just the little New Era logo. I don't know why it took me so long to own a New York, a staple, like a New York Yankees hat, but I have one now. My apologies, y'all, my camera died. Um, I wanted to show y'all, I wanted to do like a quick little what's in my bag because y'all already know how much I stand this Telfalar, okay? My Telfalizi, I love this damn bag and I'm gonna show y'all what I normally carry in it. Uh, a pair of shoes is not something I normally carry in it. But actually, no, that's not true, it is because when I'm working, I need to bring my, you know, things that I'm wearing for my videos, so. That's actually true. Notebook, hydro flask. Um, I keep like some like random skincare items and like makeup stuff just so that if I ever look raggedy on my way and I can correct that. Some shades. I always keep random accessories in here just that I might want or need. My wallet, which I actually just upgraded my wallet so I need to replace that comb and brush hand sanitizer both of these are uh this is for this is a smartphone clicker and this is obviously for my canon i just got this actually and then i lost it but i just found it so that's why it's here i have an ipad i usually bring my ipad out if i need to have my phone for something but i also need to have another screen with something up because i have my old imac over there but if I'm trying to read off of it, it's really too far and I don't be having my glasses. So backwards, cause you never know. If you stay ready, you don't gotta get ready. Do you feel me? Chargers, chapstick, you know, just, just girly things. Just receipts, edibles, <laughs> you know, you know the vibes. Um, this is uh, something I'm gonna feature, I think maybe in my video today, I don't know. And the same thing goes for this. This is the thing that I keep all of my accessories in, which is, this is definitely not all of them. I've just been kind of leaving stuff around, which is bad since I've been moving. So I don't really, not really keeping great track of all the things. I keep everything small in this little pocket on the side, just so that, you know, in case this comes open, nothing is, you know, getting all down up in here, you know, because that would be kind of annoying to kind of fish out or whatever, but that's pretty much what I carry in my Telfali. So I highly recommend this bag. I stand by this bag. You already know I stand by this bag, but now I actually need to get to work. And those are all of my best buys of 2021. Everything will be linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. And do not forget y'all, wear what you want, wear what you like, and wear it out. See you soon.